Uh, I was super scared to come because, well, I shouldn't even say that right now. Let's not say that right now. Let's wait till we get back to the dinghy. I don't want to jinx things. <laughs> okay, let's bounce. <laughs> Last time aboard Freedom, we said goodbye to the Octopus Islands and hello to the Broughtons, a wild, rugged, and stunning archipelago north of Desolation Sound on British Columbia's west coast. After cruising halfway up the Night Inlet, we settled into Glendale Cove, an area that's been on our bucket list for years. Being a haven for impressive wildlife, we quickly got an up-close and personal look at just a few of the grizzly bears who call this place home. It was an epic experience, so if you missed it, be sure to check it out. All right, and off we go. Goodbye, Glendale Cove. You have been epic. Epic. Thank you for giving us this experience. Uh, once in a lifetime, never going to forget it. Um, and we have to come back. That's We have to come back. So now we're headed to our next destination. Uh, for this part of the trip, Sean has done the itinerary. He has some pretty exciting stuff in store. So I'm excited to uh, see what the rest of the day and the rest of the week holds. Whew. And I'm looking forward to a shower. Man. Hopefully we have some water left after this anchor wash down. After departing Glendale Cove, we turned into the night inlet where we were awestruck, not only by the turbulent conditions from the strong wind and current rushing up from the west, but also because of this unique turquoise hue of the water that we haven't seen anywhere else thus far. So of course I Googled it. According to the internet, this comes from mineral-rich ice melting off the tall glacial mountains surrounding the inlet, specifically the massive Kleena Clean Glacier situated atop Mount Waddington, one of the largest mountain glaciers in western North America, atop the highest mountain located totally within British Columbia. When the ice expands and contracts around the rocks, it absorbs a thin layer of particles, or rock flour. When summer comes, the ice melts and runs off into the inlet, bringing with it all of that rock flower. Then when sunlight hits the tiny particles in the water, it reflects the stunning turquoise color. stop is Quatsi Bay, a calm anchorage about 32 nautical miles from Glendale Cove. Sean read about it in the Wagoner Guide, and since it's supposed to have a quaint marina and access to a trail leading to a waterfall, he figured it would be a great next stop here in the Broughtons. Often referred to as BC's Wild Kingdom, the Broughtons consist of dozens of undeveloped islands and islets at the mouth of the Knight Inlet, one of BC's longest saltwater inlets on the west side of Queen Charlotte Strait, near the north end of Vancouver Island. As you can imagine, this area doesn't offer much for cruisers in terms of developed trails, marinas, mooring buoys, or opportunities to get provisions or water if needed. However, there are a plethora of anchorages to choose from, all with magnificent mountain views, incredible wildlife, and a sense of calm like you've never felt before. So 
we've arrived. It's easy to miss this place, uh, but it's quite beautiful. And I stand corrected. Sean reminded me that there is a short walking path here to the largest, I think it's the tallest cedar tree, um, something like that. So we don't know where it is, where the path is, but it's supposed to be short and doable and probably safe, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so maybe we'll check that out. Okay, so we are coming in the Quatsi Bay. There's actually a marina tucked in there, the Quatsi Bay Marina. And coming up the bay, it is so hard to tell where our anchorage is. We're actually going to tuck in right back there. Um, thank goodness for charts because it looked like there was kind of, this was the end of the road, but there's a little hidden cove right beyond those trees and that's where we're going to anchor for the night. It's kind of nice. There's a, a house over there by the marina. Obviously some boats. It's nice to know that we're not the only ones here. Once we dropped the anchor and got Freedom rinsed down with fresh water, we were off to explore the shoreline and the marina we had read and heard so many good things about, like their daily happy hours and helpful tips on how to get to the nearby waterfall. We quickly realized, however, that the once popular, welcoming, and family-owned Quatsi Bay Marina is sadly no more. After 25 years of ownership, owners Max and Inca sold the marina back in 2021 to new owners who were supposed to be renovating the property that same year. We don't know the details about what happened next, but it's clear that what was once a top destination for cruisers here in the Broughtons is in rough shape and in dire need of some tender love and care. Yeah, and not for the season. Like, for good. Some nachos. Mm. Sean, you knocked yourself out again. Quatsi Bay nachos. Quatsi Bay nachos. With, with a view. We are heading out to go find this 1,000 year old cedar tree. Uh, we're leaving the dogs here. The trail is supposed to be muddy. So we got our, we got our boots on. Sean, you got your boots? Nice shorts. Yeah, it's actually, it's not, it's not cold, but in the, in the wind it's gonna be chilly. So I'm kind of dressed up for the, the elements. Um, we do have our bear spray with us. Uh, if we see any bears, we are not going to go find this 1,000 year old cedar tree. But according to the wagoner guide, it's pretty close to shore. And we're going to test out um, their instructions. They gave pretty detailed instructions about how to find the landing to get off uh, or get onto land um, and find the tree and the trail. So we'll see how this goes. Sean, do you think we're going to find it? Yes. Yes, you do. I think we'll find a tree. You think we'll find a tree? <laughs> it's supposed to be a very cool sight to see, which is why we're taking the we're making the effort to go. Uh, it's like about 8:30 in the morning. It's very calm. No, oh. <sighs> seriously. Okay. <sighs> Killer socks. Killer socks. Yeah. Hey, you know they feel good. Okay, got our coffees. We are ready to rock. Oh, bye guys, I hope we'll be back. We'll be back. They're not happy. 
No, they're pissed. We'll be back. We think. We think. Headed to Watson Cove, a snug anchorage located four nautical miles from Quatsi Bay and apparently home to this 1,000-year-old cedar tree. According to the Wagoner Guide, there's a charted rock in the entrance, so we're going to make sure to hug the North Shore when entering the cove. We now need to land our dinghy at a rock slab about 200 feet before the head of the cove on the South Shore. There we should look for a large, rusty anchor pin set into the rocky shoreline. Immediately above this landing is a rustic trail that is best hiked in boots, thus our unusual hiking gear this morning. Okay, so we found the rock. You definitely need boots. Whoa. Okay. Definitely need boots. Goodness gracious. Woo. Okay. Woo, starfish. That's cool. Little oh, mini starfish. This is very. Woo. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't know about a trail. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so this is <laughs> this is the trail. You have the bear spray. Oh my gosh! Somebody needs to <laughs> comment. Oh my god! I don't know. Okay. I guess this is. Oh hey, kind of a trail. Oh, I think I see it. I think it's uh, up to your right. This is way cool. Every tree in here looks like it's a thousand years old. Oh, wow. Oh, and it's right here. Oh, God. I hope there's no wild beasts. Oh, ooh, mud. Yeah, why we got boots? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Whew. Oh, the things we do to go see trees. <sighs> Just because they're old. Wow. Wow. This is quite a rugged trail. Oh, jeez. Wow, that is so cool. We found the tree. Right there. Wow, that's impressive.
Huh? Okay. As they do on the Lampoon's vacation when they go through the Grand Canyon. Don't you want to look at the Grand Canyon? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're ready to go. <laughs> we saw it. Yeah, we Looking came. Check. Check. That one off the box. Yeah, we came. We found the 1,000 year old cedar tree. Sean, would you recommend this? Yeah, of as course. an excursion, I definitely would. Yeah. Uh, I was super scared to come because, well, I shouldn't even say that right now. Let's not say that right now. Let's wait till we get back to the dinghy. I don't want to jinx things. <laughs> okay. Let's bounce. <laughs> At least there's a lot to hold on to. Ish. Whew, buddy. Sean, don't go too far with that bear spray. So what I didn't want to say on the trail is that I was so happy we made it without getting eaten by a bear. I didn't want to jinx us. But now that we're safely on the dinghy headed back, I can say it. Our likelihood of getting eaten is, is not as great. Not as great, yeah. Although we're happy that we didn't come across the bears that have recently been spotted here, we're sad to be leaving this beautiful location. It's already time for us to hoist up the dinghy, pull up our anchor, and get underway to our next destination here in the Broughtons. While it likely won't have a 1,000-year-old cedar tree, it might just have even more interesting and unique things to check out. Is it? Yeah, it's a humpback. Is it laying at the surface? Looks like a log or something up there. No, it's. Uh, I saw the water spout. I think it might be laying at the surface. Wow, it's like sleeping at the surface. Wow, big humpback. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of the Broughtons and what becomes our circumnavigation of Vancouver Island, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. We'll see you next time.